In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to get VS Code up and running with PHP Code Sniffer. Uh, this video assumes that you already have PHP CS installed via the command line and that you already have a global set of rules. If you don't, um, you need to watch a couple of my previous videos, which will walk you through step by step how to do all of that. So the first thing we need to do is install the plugin. Um, click on the plugins or the extensions uh, icon on the bottom left. Do a search for PHP CS and install this version. Click reload. And next up, go to our settings. Do a search for PHP CS. We have three settings available to us. Do we want to enable PHP CS? Well, of course. Um, what standard do we want to use? Do we need to ignore any files? The only um, setting I'm going to grab and place over into my um, user settings here is the standard. Um, I do have a bunch of standards set up globally, and I can look at those by typing phpcs-i, and you'll notice um, here I have a whole laundry list of globally uh, set uh, rule sets available globally. Um, by default, phpcs comes with these right here, and then in previous videos, I have installed all of these different rule sets. So this means that I can grab, let's say, Web Dev Studios, and I can drop that in here. And, and now PHP CS will fall back to this global setting if no other um, config is found. So what does that mean? Let's look at my project directory. And let's look at uh, phpcs.xml. What this file is, is an annotated rule set. And by default, this plugin for VS Code, as well as PHP CS on the command line, we'll look for an annotated uh, rule set in the project directory or whatever directory you happen to be in. So if I'm in the command line and I'm in this WD underscores folder um, and I type LS, you'll see I have PHP CS. If I were to run PHP CS from the command line, it will automatically grab that annotated rule set and go ahead and sniff against it. Well, the, the same thing is happening here in VS Code. Because I have this annotated rule set here, by default, it will read it and use it against or instead of this globally set thing here. But if I didn't have an annotated rule set, it would fall back to whatever, whatever I define here in my settings. All right, the last setting I want to just touch on real quick is phpvalidate.run. You, you, you don't have to change anything. I just want to explain it. The linter in VS Code has the ability to run on save or on type. If you do on type, it will lint while you type. But if you're on a laptop and you're running on a battery, it's just gonna it's just gonna murder your battery. So just leave this setting on save. And what that will do is anytime you open a file or you save a file, it will automatically run that file against PHP CS, like so. So I have an error here. Expect one space before closing PHP tag. Okay. I can insert a space, I can save it, and the squiggly line goes away. That's how easy it is to set up PHP CS for VS Code.